NFL on EA Sports, and we'll play host to a battle between conferences. It's the Chicago Bears and the Houston Texans, and it comes your way next. Our coverage of the NFL has brought us to Space City and NRG Stadium, right next to where the old Astrodome sits here in Houston, Texas. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you have quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple of QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage and get too aggressive in the pocket, Either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over him for big yardage, and maybe six points too. Ball is teed up. It's their punter, Tory Taylor, to do the honors. And we're off and running from Houston. Here's Steven Sims with the return. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. Well, here come the Texans for their opening drive. And leading them out is someone who became an absolute superstar last year as a rookie. Drafted second in 2023, it's C.J. Stroud. C.J. may not have been the number one pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, but he was clearly the number one rookie in all of the NFL last year. Near unanimous rookie of the year. In fact, even earning MVP votes, Kate, it wasn't just a little bit of a rebound and a rebuild for Houston. It was a remake in a hurry. And what can he do in his sophomore season? It will be must-see TV. Throw in to start this game. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bowling ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Shotgun now for Stroud. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. That's caught for the first. They get 18 yards out of it, and a new set of downs. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. To the air yet again, it's Stroud. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they take him down, but there's a flag on the play. So a big self-inflicted air as that personal foul moves the ball forward quite a bit. Roughing the passer on that last play, and that's always going to lead to an automatic first down. They'll run here, following the penalty. And he runs this one down to the 22-yard line. They give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. Second and one. Completed to Collins. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on the route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. First down from the red zone. 
Oh, we put way too much on that one, Brock. Over the end zone and out. QBs, well, they're a lot like the great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're gonna miss. You just gotta shake it off and keep shooting away. So the incompletion on first, here's second and goal. Throwing his round. It's caught. And he pushes it all the way to the goal line, but goes out at the one. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Buckle up, it's third and goal. Stroud off the play fake. On him quick, and they bring him down. And that sack gonna cost them some yardage. I get it in baseball, that 27th out, it's just different than the other 26. And these 100 yards and these inches right near the goal line, well, they're the toughest to get. And this defense, give them some credit, man. Put a gold star by that effort to hold them inches away on the previous down and then to get the sack, game-changing kind of plays. Kaimi Fairbairn out there now to try a field goal for the Texans on this fourth down. It's just a 26-yarder down the middle. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Here's DeAndre Carter with the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So here come the Bears as they get set for their debut series. And leading them out to the number one overall pick in this year's draft out of USC, a player with immense promise, Caleb Williams. Caleb was one of the most hyped prospects ever out of college football, and I'm not speaking out of turn or any hyperbole there. That's why he was the number one pick. And you put on his highlight reel, Kate, you can put that highlight reel against anybody the last 50 years. The way that he creates and extends plays, the ways that he can run and still sling it totally off platform and off balance all over the field. He also does it with a flair, an eccentricity that is unique and really not common coming into the league as well. A superstar in the making. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Now here's DeAndre Swift on the ground. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, Largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Third and a lone yard coming up. Williams on the play action. Throw reeled in by Allen. They get 27 on the play. And that's good for a Bears first down. You want to become a quarterback's best friend, do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. New set of downs for him at the 38. First down, here's Swift. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that's a Chicago first down. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. Williams to throw on first. 
Bales out of the pocket. Court. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And they're going to have to regroup after this one. And right there is the danger, Kate. When you put the ball in the air, how many times do we see these coordinators when you get a nice run, right? You gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't, they call the pass, and the defense reacts and reacts well with a sack. Off the play fake, Williams. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Williams from the gun. Finds his target, Allen. Decent gain here, but short of the first. It was the rookie from USC who got there for that tackle. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. Out of the gun. Here's Williams. That's cut beyond the marker. And he'll go down shy the end zone. They mark him at the four. That's a clutch seven-yard pickup, and it pays off the call to go for it on fourth down. Oh, I love fourth downs. It just brings out the very best, and you get to see how you handle the most pressure, and it turns out they handled it pretty darn well, and now they'll keep pushing. Quick throw left side, complete. And he'll score. Touchdown, Chicago! The Bears take a 6-0 lead in the first quarter. So a touchdown on the board for him, Brock, as they start this game off a perfect one-for-one one offensively. Yeah, I'm going to call that scripting for success right there. Mm. Can't do it much better than that. And listen, when you script these first plays, you don't always know who the targets are going to be. It's really then relying upon what the defense is trying to take away. But they couldn't take away that big old tight end. Now Cairo Santos on to add the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send and fly. Fielded at the seven. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. They're out and set. First and ten. Play action, here. Stroud. Buying some time left. Oh, look at this, here he goes. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. So before they can set up for another play, we've hit the end of the first quarter. Neither side separating much so far. We'll make our return to NRG Stadium after this. Welcome back. We'll begin this second quarter with the Texans in possession. They've got second and five. Mixing on the toss. And he's going to be taken down right around the 39. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. Yeah, that defense was flying to the ball. You see that outside toss. This is a pursuit drill that they work on over and over again. Get to that toss before it can really get started. Stroud now on third. That heater is going to fall to the turf. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Texans going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. 
Back deep for the Bears is DeAndre Carter. He has it at the 13. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And it's going to be Bears football. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Working from the gun, Williams. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. He was looking Keenan Allen's way there. And now it's second down. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Out of the pistol, Williams. He's going to get this off to his fullback. And he's going to be brought down after getting this up to the 22. The blitz tracked him down eventually, but the effort to relocate outside the pocket bottom just enough time to get that out completed before somebody could put a lick on him. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. Williams to throw. Escapes the pocket. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And he'll get it up to the 27. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. On fourth down, it's Torrey Taylor on for the Bears to punt this away. On the return for the Texans, Steven Sims. for the fair catch, and he's got it at the 27. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And it's going to be Texans football. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here's Stroud. This is complete to Schultz. And he's short of the first after a mild game. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. Second and six coming up here. From the gun, Stroud. Digs there to bring it in. And he'll be out of bounds right along the 40. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Loose laid it down to approach here from the 40. It's round throwing here on first. He's got it over the middle. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end, because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. It's mixed in on second down. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. Offense set for a first and ten. Keeping it with Mixon. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop it behind the line. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back to the line they go. It's second down. 
Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. And they're gonna haul him down a step before the 30, you're right at the 31. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. We've hit the two minute warning now at NRG. And it's the Texans who have first and 10. Shotgun now for Stroud. Cut by Diggs. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second and six coming up here. From the 27. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. That one gains seven. And the Texans are going to have a first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First down, Stroud. Pass taken in by Diggs. And they get this down to the 10 yard line before going down. Timeout coming from the Texans, that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. To the air yet again, it's Stroud. It's caught. And he's to the five before going out of bounds. Gain of five, Brock, and now they're gonna have first and goal. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn up completion that nets them a first down. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. He'll throw it yet again. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans get some late points and the lead. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. So Brock, good work there to finish off the drive in the end zone and retake the lead. You just get this feeling every once in a while in games, this sucker's gonna be a back and forth football game. So what a great job offensively to jump out in front here in the first half of play. Here's Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Bayless Jones now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call, 1-844-MADDEN-1, and make your case for who should get a boost. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Throwing now from the gun. That's incomplete left side. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. Got to secure the pick before anything else. 
couldn't connect on first. It's second down. To throw, Williams. Able to get it to Moore. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. The Bears decide to call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First down throw by Williams. That one is caught, left side of the field. Timeout taken by the offense, they're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Sticking in the air, it's Williams. Here's one left side. He's got it. Complete pass. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. It's a gain of 22. And that's good for a Bears first down. Now just before the break, a timeout taken by the offense. And they can try for some points going into the break. on Cairo Santos for the field goal. It's a 38-yarder from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to tie us up just before halftime. I know. You always want to finish drives in the end zone. But no matter what, the important thing is they end in some kind of points. And that's mission accomplished there. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. One last play before the break. He'll throw it. He puts some air under this one, deep right. And this is gonna end up incomplete. He really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. And we've arrived at the break, and what a second half we're in store for. It's tied at 10 after two. Now we'll head over to Orlando, Florida. Check in with Jonathan Coachman for the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break, as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Well, we're set up for an incredible second half, all tied as we kick it away here in quarter number three. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Chicago offense with the football first to begin quarter number three. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. We'll start out with a first and ten. Here's Swift to start the drive. And he's able to manage a couple on that run.
Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 28. It's taken in by Roma Dunze. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. Just how many times do we see teams go to this route? You can go to a Little League field and tell them to, hey, run to the post. It's a playbook staple. And he's someone you could depend on to create space and make catches out of it. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Williams from the gun. Has his man. It's a Dunze. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. First down, Williams. This pass caught by Allen. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. Second and three now. Out of the shotgun, a give to Swift. And they take him down right along the 30. And that goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in the pocket for a later occasion. First and 10 now from the 30. Williams to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. Third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Allen there to haul it in. And he'll go down here at the 16. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. Move the chains! Gotta move them chains! Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Running with Swift out of the gun. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Here's Swift on second down. And he stopped out at the 16 after a small game. They'll get that yard back, but no more. It's third and 10. Now Williams. And he won't escape this. The Texans take him down. And the defense comes through. And that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> that's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. So on fourth down, out is Cairo Santos for the Bears field goal. It's about 43 yards for it. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And they've taken back the lead. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time, well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker.
Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send and fly. His return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. First and 10. To the air, Stroud. Fires over the middle, caught. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Out of the shotgun, a give to Mixon. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Well, looky here, you don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you could recycle it, save it for later for that next third down coming. First and 10 from the 41. From the gun, Stroud. Caught by Collins on the slant. And they're gonna haul him down just shy of the 40. They'll get 18 yards there. And it sets up a Houston first. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. First and 10 from the 41. Shotgun now for Stroud. That's complete to the sideline. Not a ton of room, but he does get the feet down. Well, that one came with a high degree of difficulty. Had the balance focusing on the catch, keeping those feet in bounds. Three quarters in the books from this one. The Texans have it to start, coming in trailing on the scoreboard. Way to the marker. It's second and five. Okay. Operating from the gun. It's Stroud. Throws into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Tremaine Edmonds has it. Hey, listen, when you're throwing down the middle of the field, you have got to be crystal clear in your vision. There are so many defenders that can get into those zones. That might be a case of the QB there trying to do a little bit too much and certainly didn't see the defender who comes up with the big interception. Here come the Bears back out on offense. And they were able to contribute three points to the lead their last time out. Another chance to build on that advantage here. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Out of the gun, here's Williams. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Now an inside handoff to Swift. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that's a Chicago first down. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Williams on the play action. Flushed out of the pocket. He keeps it and takes off. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. That's just a case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Off the play fake, Williams. He's got him, that's Swift. And he's out of bounds after getting this one to the opposing 45-yard line. 
That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep them short of the sticks. Williams to throw on third. He's on the move. He's running for it. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide of practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Williams to throw on first. Pass caught by Adunze. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. In a good spot here, second and inches. Now here's Williams. Able to get it to Moore. And they get this down to the 10 yard line before going down. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. They have themselves another first and ten. Running behind center with Swift. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Second down now, seven to go. Staying grounded with Swift. And he takes this one in for a Chicago touchdown. The Bears pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. DeAndre Swift, the touchdown. They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out. And that time, well, brought the ground game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that could score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send in flying. Here's a return from the seven. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Now we get a look at this Texans offense. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Got him in over the middle. Complete. They touch him down, but a great pickup, and it's good for a first. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Round throwing here on first. Makes the catch, but does not do it in bounds. It looks like he came down on that sideline. Second down coming up. You know, Kate, that's one of those instances where you try to walk that tightrope on the sidelines. Problem is, on a throw that far down the field, that is so hard to do, so difficult. I love the effort, just couldn't quite find the execution. Second and ten, Stroud to throw. Dell with the grab. And he has them a first down, which they will tackle on the other side of this two-minute warning. Yeah. 
Now to throw. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. a good pickup. They've got second and four. Looking to throw it. Collins there to grab it. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. That's good for seven yards. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. The clock rolls as the Texans try to hurry their offense to the line. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's brought down after a short game. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic, but it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Working fast as the clock ticks towards zero. Cut at the six! And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. to throw. And don't leave just yet, fans. He's got it for the touchdown. And there's still a small chance, Brock, that this one isn't over. Right on the edge of the goal line for first and goal. And I don't know about you, partner, but that surprised me that they just threw it in. No attempts at running it. Yeah, I think it is so hard for these defenders. You've got to be so keyed in and physically, you know you've got to stop that run first. So a first down pass play can and certainly was effective. This would put it back within a field goal. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Side kick with less than a minute to go. And the Bears get this kick, and that spells the end of this ball game. No question they wanted the ball back late, but you don't see many of these recovered by the kicking team in the NFL. You see even fewer recovered when they're actually expecting it, like they certainly were right there. The Bears about set for their next possession. They're headed out now, defending not a two-score lead, just a field goal advantage here. So wondering, Brock, is that going to affect how they approach a chance at closing this one out? No, oh, I don't think there's any question about it. Yeah, I think if it's a two-score game, it's run, 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 take every second off and punt that ball. Not now. Now you've got to get to the plays that you trust and believe in the most. Into the victory formation they go, Brock, here on first down. And they'll take a knee. Final timeout called by the Texans. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. This won't run out the clock just yet, Brock. They're going to have to kneel it again after this one. And he's going to take a knee. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock, but the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. After one final kneel down, partner, and this should do it. And they'll kneel this down.
So the Bears take this one on the road. And finally, Brock, they can exhale and take a few breaths because uh, I don't imagine any of them were breathing easy during that one with how close this game was. Them or us? We're both. <laughs> all of us. <laughs> yeah, D, is, all of the above. It, it is so hard, Kate, to match the adrenaline surge they feel right now and that they felt in every major turn throughout the second half. There's just something about a close game, the intensity that's there in every moment that you love to experience as a player and that you hope in all these moments you can execute so you're the one celebrating and riding that wave of emotion.